brain from syntax and logics in today's SQL payroll system tutorial I'll talk about payroll tax category setting. Let's go to SQL. We maintain employee under payroll info. This is where you need to set your tax category. But no worry, because basically what you need to do is just to click on view button and the tax category will be auto adjusted accordingly for example if you are single then you can see that your tax category will be c1 if you are married but wife is not working then you'll be c2.k k stand for kanak means that your children so if your spouse is working then you click is c3.k spouse disable there will be a different calculations and if you do have children then you must remember go to the child tab and the child tab the first thing you need to do is you need to take note on the following rules by LHDN Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri or Malaysia Inland Revenue Board so as you can see that if you are having a children where two or more individual husband or wife live together and each entitled to claim a deduction for the payment in respective of the same child then it's 50 50. take it this way the first thing that you need to know is let's say husband and wife and only have one children then these children for tax deduction purpose is under husband or wife but let's say many people will make mistake is so i have one children so he will take this children under his name then do tax deduction but at the same time his wife also doing the same things then meaning if these things happen the pcb calculation will be incorrect then there might be penalty later on so you need to ask this question to your staff how many children you have then this children is under the deduction of pcb under your name or your wife name or husband name okay they must tell you they must know you will not able to know this only they will know okay so do this exercise to get the children information after you confirm that this children is under his deductions then you need to click on plus put in the children name really example the children name the date of birth let's say 200 example then what is the tax code click on it then you need to know this children is under 18 years old now or is 18 years old and above and receiving full-time instruction include certificate or which category then they need to select please ignore the one four three seven it doesn't mean that when you select this you have seven children no it's only will meant for pcb calculation a formula that we will use okay ignore the number over here you only need to concentrate on which category okay so if that you have two children then you plus again and key in accordingly okay so after setting this one then basically what you can see is when you save it you go to payroll info then the tax category will be amend accordingly so no need to worry the tax category basically you just answer a few questions will do well once again thank you for watching i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you